Hey, this is Dow Too Fast here, and in this video I will be doing a stereo install for this 2006 Toyota Tacoma. And we got the stereo parts from Crutchfield, and I'll show you what we got here. The stereo we'll be installing is this Sony MEX N6000BH. And here are the rest of the parts with the bezel you see here and the wiring harness. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove this climate control. And what you want to do is just get yourself a pry bar, preferably a plastic one so you don't scratch up the surface. And just gently pry on this. Give it a little wiggle and it should come out. You have two connectors at the back. Go ahead and disconnect those. The next thing is there are four. 10 millimeter bolts at the bottom here. So one here, one here, one over here, and one over here. So go ahead and remove those. Now the stereo can come out just carefully. There are a couple of clips on the side here, so just carefully release those clips. And disconnect the wiring harness to the stereo. There's the antenna. So here's the factory radio. Go ahead and remove the bolts holding down the left and right brackets. To get this assembly out, what you want to do is unclip this piece from this rectangular plastic bezel here. So there are a couple of clips around the edge. Go ahead and release those. piece will come out. To install this assembly into the metric kit, what you need to do is use this uh, bracket that came with a metric kit and slide this into here. And there are clips holding it all around. And then now you can put this piece over here. Get yourself the four Phillips screw and we'll install those. So make sure everything's lined up. The most important thing is on the front, make sure the hazard button can be pushed in smoothly on the stereo bezel right here. And you can see this will be one, two, and two more on this side here. So here is the Sony stereo. Here's a faceplate. User guide. And this comes with a remote control. It also has a wiring harness that goes on the back of this stereo. On this Sony uh, radio, go ahead and remove this metal sleeve. And what you need to do is release the two clips on the side. Once you open this up, then the sleeve will come off. On the Metra stereo kit, what you need to do 
is install the sleeve right in here. Once you have this in here, go ahead and get yourself a flathead and you want to push these tabs that you see right here right up. And you want to go around and do this for all four sides. So what this does is it keeps the sleeve inside this Metra stereo kit. On the bottom side you can also press these clips in, you can see. The next thing we'll do is to connect the Sony wiring harness to the Metra wiring harness. So the way it's going to work is we're going to connect these wires together. This end is going to go to the factory connector and this end is going to plug into the Sony stereo. And the way you want to match it is on the Metra wiring harness at the back you'll see the wiring color and tells you what wire is what and then on the right side here I have the Sony uh, wiring guide and that tells you that from this harness it will tell you which wires for speakers, which one is ignition, which one is ground and uh, 12 volt. So we'll go ahead and prep this so we'll have both of these connected together. So here is the completed wiring harness. Got some tie wraps here. Go ahead and just just clean things up a little bit. Now we'll go ahead and slide this stereo into the sleeve here. Make sure snap in place. Now I want to show you that this stereo do have a Bluetooth um, connectivity to a cell phone. So there's a mic jack here and that's why I'm holding in my hand here. This is the microphone for your hands-free calling. So I'm going to run this wire on the A-pillar. So to remove the trim on the A-pillar, go ahead and get yourself a small little flathead and remove this cap here. There's another one down here. Just be very careful, you don't want to scratch anything here. There's going to be two Phillips. Go ahead and remove those. The handle will come off. And then we'll pull away the weather stripping that's on the door. And it usually clips behind this A pillar. We'll remove those. Here's a mic. We've chosen this corner right here on the driver's side. I'm going to put this mic right in this spot right here. So the next thing is to fish the wire from this A-pillar down into the bottom and you can use a coat hanger. In this case I'm using this long uh, tie wrap and just kind of feed this through so you know that it's going to come out on the bottom side and we'll go ahead and tape this end here.
So right now I've ran the tie wrap from the stereo all the way down to the bottom of the dash. And I've taped the jack where the microphone is. And I'll go ahead and pull this through. So there it is. So here I have the Metra wiring harness. And you want to connect this to the factory wire. Now we'll connect the Sony stereo to the connector. Don't forget the mic that connects to this red connector here at the back. There's also the antenna. Plugs into here. Now we'll just carefully put the stereo into the dash. Install the four bolts back in. Let's I've installed the faceplate onto the stereo. We'll do a quick test. So go ahead and check all the speakers. Make sure, make sure the sound's coming out on all four speakers. And the illumination. You can see that goes dim. On the Metra bezel here, uh, it comes with these plastic clips. Go ahead and install those at each corner. Now we'll connect the connector to the clock. And then we can reinstall this bezel. Now the last part is going to be the climate control. And that's it. Alright, I hope you enjoy watching this install video. And uh, my friend's got to go right now, so he's going to go home and set up the uh, radio and the Bluetooth. But everything is working right now. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like the video, please subscribe. Thank you.